Hey guys, what's up? This movie review is on Texas Chainsaw or Texas Chainsaw 3D. Except I don't have the Blu-ray or 3D version of this movie. I just have the regular DVD. Um, it is 92 minutes. It is 2012 and it... 2000, it's supposed to be 2013, but... It's rated R and there's a lot of special features on here. And... Yeah. So, um... Let me just get back to the plot. This is supposed to be a direct sequel to the um, original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 1974. And, well, they fucked up the dates. Like, all of it. The character is supposed to be 40, because it's supposed to be present time. And um, Leatherface is supposed to be 80 years old. And, of course, he runs like, you know, he's a retard, but he runs a little faster than 80. And that girl looks like 20 to 21 years old. Early 20s, I like to say. So, let's just get to the plot. It's about Heather, who is played by a Alexandra Didaro or something. Um, uh, she found out that she was adopted and her grandmother passed away last week or something. And then she has to inherit her house. You know, she has all this inheritance. So, she takes her and... Um, four other friends to um, the house and the house is very similar to the um, the remakes and the other you know franchises house it's very similar to the prequel and the remakes house the, that they used um, almost everything's like related like two girls being terrorized in a van and the chase scenes and the house and everything Except the house is more, like, fancy and stuff, so, yeah. I have this movie on my phone, by the way, digital copy. I have it on my phone so I can watch it whenever I want. I, okay, and then, that that's about it. And then Leatherface, he's just wheeling his chainsaw around, and he's just killing the teens off one by one, and whoever walks in his way. There's a big, there's a little bit of a story behind it. Um, I really enjoyed this movie. To be honest, um, yes, they fucked up the dates. They did. But I still really enjoyed it. Um, it was very gory and very bloody. Good gore sequences and kills. Um, very fun. The worst acting in here was played by that guy named Kenny, the one with the beard. Oh my god, he did terrible acting. But other than all, the two girls that were in here, Nikki and Heather, they did pretty cool acting. Heather did better acting than Nikki, but Trey Songs, eh, he was okay in here, I guess. Um, Daryl, he was probably one of the best actors in there, because, you know, he has a country voice, but he's a douchebag. A douchebag in the middle of the movie, but I really enjoyed this movie, even though they fucked up all the ages and dates. I still really enjoyed it, because of how fun and cheesy it was, and without knowing the mistakes, it has a good story behind it. Um... But yeah, I think they sh like should have made that girl 40 or something. Hired a 40-year-old star. Although it is possible for her to be 40 but still look young. And him to be 80 and still, you know, run young. But, eh, I guess. I guess, yeah. But I really enjoyed this slasher flick. I highly recommend it. Most people didn't like it, though. If you're not going to like it, then, oh well. It's your opinion. So yeah, um, I have seen it in 3D in theaters, it was awesome, so, yeah. I really enjoyed it, I already said that, but still, I just love this movie a lot. It's one of my favorite movies, just one of my favorite, and it's one of the goriest in the franchise, so. Not demented or sadistic, but goriest. They moved out all the torture, but. My favorite death scene would have to be when he was chainsawing that guy in half, or vertically. And, like, it's, or something like horizontal, like, I forgot. But, like, he he's just on a meat hook, and then he just, like, fucking gets that saw through his waist, and then boom. The worst death in here would have to be when he shoots that girl in the head. Why? She had a horrible death scene. She deserved to live, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, very gory, very bloody. Really enjoyed it. Some of the acting was good, some of the acting wasn't. 
Um, special effects were good, too. You could tell some of them were CGI, but really enjoyed this movie. I love it. It's one of my favorite movies of all time, horror movies of all time. So, yeah. It's produced by Lionsgate instead of New Line Cinema, sadly, but... And I heard there's going to be a sequel, Texas Chainsaw 3D, or Texas Chainsaw 2 in 3D in 2014. So, yeah. Get the digital copy. Like, watch it wherever you go. Alright, well, that is it for this review. I love this movie, so see you guys later. Don't forget, to subs don't forget to subscribe for more movie reviews, and that's about it. Bye.